everyone and welcome to our direct drawing. Now this week we are going to be drawing a fish because we've been looking at the story Hooray for Fish and I love this story because of all the different sizes and different colors the fish are in that little fish sees on his journey to find his mom. Now one of the pages here we've got a bunch of fish on here, lots of different types of fish. We've got long wiggly fish, We've got fat spotty fish with sharp teeth. We've got some fish with lots of fins on it. We've got a curly fish and a strawberry fish. Now, I'm going to draw the strawberry fish today, uh, but you can draw whatever fish you want. And also, you can always go on to YouTube, if you don't have this story, and find the book on there. And you can look at all the different types of fish, like this one here, this kind of fish, very beautiful fish. And there's so many fish, look at this big fat one as well. And what we're going to do today is draw a fish. So you can draw whatever fish you want. And like I said, I'm gonna draw a strawberry fish in my, on my piece of paper. Let me just go back to the strawberry so I can see the shape again. It's kind of got a point on there and round got these flippers at the back um, that kind of look like the top of a strawberry. And what we're going to do is after you finish drawing and coloring your picture, you can cut it out and put on a lolly stick and make a stick puppet. So this one, I put two lolly sticks because he was a long one and you can pretend he's swimming around your house. And then I also made another one, he's a big fat one and you can have him swim around as well, your house. So today, we're gonna to do a little bit of drawing and some cutting and sticking today. So first off, what I'm gonna do is draw my fish. And because it's a strawberry shaped fish, I'm gonna draw it with a red felt tip because I find the felt tips look a lot nicer for the puppets. So here we go, so I'm gonna draw my shape. Now I'm gonna try and make it as big as I can because I am gonna cut it out and it's nice to have a big puppet. So. Out his mouth. So I'm going to try to make it so he's smiling. So I love to have a happy fish. And come back and around and make it so my lines meet. There you go. And now I need to draw his flippers. And they were green and they were kind of wiggly. Let me get my green pen. What I'm going to do is Draw some different angles for the fish. Let's see, let's do some this way because it is a lovely fish. There we go. Now I'm going to give that all a color after. Now, to make my fish so he looks like a strawberry, I'm going to need to draw seeds on it and I'm going to use a yellow. To be the seeds. So I'm just going to draw some yellow ovals to make my seeds. I'm just going to draw them all over my page. There we go. Now, normally they have lots of seeds on them, don't they, strawberries? So I'm not going to draw too many more just because I'd rather him be a really bright red, red uh, strawberry fish. And I also need to draw his eye in. So I'm gonna do it with a black pen and draw his eyes. And I'm gonna draw him some eyebrows to make him so he's a happy fish. There. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna color in my fish and then we'll cut your fish and my fish out.
And there we go. So I've got my strawberry fish ready to go. Now, what you need to do is cut out your picture. So you can either cut it or you can ask your parents or guardian to do it. Now, I'm not gonna cut all the way around the lines. I left a bit of a white bit just to make it a bit easier to cut. So you can do the same if you want, or you can cut right down to the line, cut out the, the shape. And there we go, so I've cut out my fish. And now what you need to do is get a lolly stick or a straw or just a stick actually. And you're gonna flip your paper over like that. And then you're going to tape it on. So I'm gonna try to give it so there's more of my lolly stick on top of my paper. And then you can get some tape. And you can get your parent or carer to help you with that as well. And you just cut what you need. So you just need one little bit. There you go. And you place it on top. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And you've got yourself a stick puppet fish. And you can swim it around by moving it back and forth. And it makes it look like it's swimming. And there we go. So you can try making your own um, stick puppet fish or you can just draw a fish. Remember, you can choose any fish from the Hooray for Fish or you can design your own fish. It's whatever you want to do. Thank you so much for joining me today for making our fishy stick puppets. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Take care.